Hello friends, my name is Jitendra Aroda and I welcome you on Tech Steering. So today we are going to start a new series on Azure DevOps. So what we are going to learn is we are going to create one account on Azure DevOps and we are going to learn how to log into Azure DevOps. So without further delay, let's start. So open your browser and in the browser type the URL dev.azure.com. Now dev here is the short form of DevOps. Now, once you open the URL, you will get multiple options to get in. Sign in is one of the options. And then we have start free and we can start free with the GitHub. So let's hit start free, which is the blue button. And let's assume that we don't have any account at the moment. We are going to start fresh. So click on create one, which is right here. And now here uh, we need to give our email ID. Now, please make sure that you put the email ID, which is not already associated with any of the DevOps account. So I'm going to put info at techsteering.com and uh, let's create a good password. Okay. Hit next. And now, you need to verify your email ID. You should be receiving one uh, code in the email, in the given email. So let me put the code here. Okay, now let's hit next. Okay, now we need to uh, do a sort of captcha validation. So we need to pick the penguin. Yeah, we are just proving that we are not uh, any robo, we are just humans. Okay, so this is done. Okay, now hit continue and here you need to choose your country. In my case, I'm going to pick India. Hit continue and here you need to give your organization name. So you need to make sure that you give a unique organization name if the org name that you give here it's already being taken by someone you will not be able to take that so give a unique name in my case let me give tech steering because that's my website name and here you could choose where to host your project so i'm good with south india and here you need to fill these characters it's just a captcha validation Okay, our DevOps organization, it's being created. Okay, so we are done. So on the top left, if you see the organization with the name tech steering, it has been created. And on the right hand side, we can create our first project, which would come under the organization tech steering. You could also create multiple organizations. Uh, there is a link for the new organization on the left hand side. It's up to you like and if you want to create more than one, but uh, I'm good with one. So let's create the project name. So let's say I'm creating a data engineering pipeline. So probably I would uh, like to give data engineering dash PL. Uh, PL stands for the pipeline. And next, I will give some description of this project so that I could understand uh, what this project is all about. Okay, I've given the description. Okay, next is visibility. We have the option for private and public. Public means anyone from the internet who has DevOps account could access your project. And private means only you or your team members whom you have given access could access. Now let's hit advanced and let's see the version control. We have the option for Git and team foundation version control. We'll stick with Git because that's what is being widely used nowadays. And under the work item process, you could check the description here on the question mark. Uh, let's see the options. So we have four different options by default. Basic is selected. Uh, we have agile, we have scrum and we have the CMMI. So I'll stick with Agile. Let's go with Agile and let's hit create project.
so the project is being created uh, and it is done and on the top left if you see data engineering pl that's our project name and these are the options of the project and if you see at the bottom we have the project settings so here we could see the settings and we could see there is text trading uh, text sharing, which is our uh, organization name in the breadcrumb and here you see the organization settings at the bottom so basically under the project you will see project settings and under the organization you will see the organization settings so yeah briefly our project is created here uh, and the url is dev.azure.com slash the organization name so let me copy this and let me log out okay so i have opened the new browser and let me type the url once again uh, dev.azure.com slash tech steering so that is my url now so let me put the email id again to sign in info at techsteering.com i need to put my password and boom i'm logged in yep so on the left hand side you can see the organization name and on the right hand side you could see the project name so yeah basically uh, this is all about that's how we log in into the azure devops friends so let's discuss more features of devops in the upcoming videos thank you so much